I spent six years solving trading so that you don't have to. You probably feel ultra negative about trading. I would too. You've been lied to the entire time. You probably fell down the rabbit hole of following signals that don't win, trading strategies from gurus that don't work and have no accurate data, and spending hours, days, even weeks learning SMC, ICT, and other dumb concepts from people that are, who are marketers. They're not traders, they're marketers. You want to make a profit, not waste the limited amount of hours that you have each day, and no one seems to help you. Now, in order to understand the story of going from zero to hero and how I solved the markets, I'm going to need to give you some background. Whatever you're trying, if you've just started and you're trying SMC, if you've just started and you're learning from ICT, stop what you're doing. They don't work. I can tell you this because I've spent the time learning it. Other people will defend them to the end of the road because they still believe in their lies. But in reality, you're going to waste a lot of your time for concepts that don't really hold any ground. People go, oh, but it's how the banks trade. It's not. Banks rely purely on mathematics. In fact, they do very, very little actual trading for themselves manually. So if anyone tells you, I trade how the banks trade, they're lying. Because unless they're doing prospair arbitrage or hedging out stock positions in Forex, they're not trading how the banks trade. Now, I have tried hundreds of methods and learn hundreds and thousands of different concepts and ideas and I don't want you to have to do the same. Even the testing for the method that I'm showing you today has taken me the last seven months. Both back testing, live testing, and then going back through, filtering the data and going, ah, I wonder if I can change this, and then having to start all over again. This is a method that I originally looked at and con concepted in 2021, and I'm telling you about it now. If you don't want to waste the next three years of your life like I did, then you're going to want to watch this video. As I promised earlier, I'll now show you the most most effortless way to be successful. Now, the first things first I'm gonna start with is this spreadsheet. This spreadsheet contains all the information you need to be successful. You can have a copy of it completely for free. Just click the link in the description below to the Google Sheet. I can guide you through it while you're looking at it. Now, the first page you're gonna look at shows you the sessions. It tells you which ones are profitable for this method and which times of the day it's profitable. You can see that on this case, it's Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Now, I'm gonna also show you other spreadsheets in another video for different pairs, as well as different methods. But primarily, you only need this one and you're going to be good for life. Next, the page that shows Monday, Thursday, and Friday. I want you to open that one. This is every single filter trade from the beginning of the trading year on just Monday, Thursday, and Friday. So from Gen 8 all the way to today. The most important thing I want to show you is the monthly gains and the profit factor. Now I'm going to have to tell you that for an average casino game, they often only have 2% of the odds in their favour. So that's 48% for you, 52% for them. That means that a multi-billion dollar industry has a profit factor of 1.073. This method on these three days is netting you a profit factor of 2.041. If I Google what a good profit factor is in trading, that would put us in the excellent category. The other thing on the sheet I wanna show you is the percentage gains per month. Now this sheet works in percentages. So every time it, takes a, it calculates a trade, it's doing it based on percentage of balance and that's how it's working out the amount it will gain as well. So if it risks half a percent, it's gonna gain 1.25%. If it risks 1%, it's gaining 2.5%, so on and so forth. Now you can see I split it into categories in here because it makes a difference. If you're someone who's gonna be trading prop firms like FTMO, Bespoke, The Funded Trader, any of them, then you're gonna to wanna to risk only about 0.5%. In theory, if you hit a lucky streak and you cut catch it at the right moment, you could pass on 1% and you'll probably pass in about a week, if that. Remember, we're only trading three days out of that week, so to pass in a week isn't actually that bad, it's just three trading days. And you can see that, hey, even on 0.5% risk per trade, which is what I would recommend for a prop firm, every single month of that test, pretty much, you'll have passed the phase one, at least. Some months you'll have passed phase one and phase two. Normally it's 8% and then 5% and you can see that there are some months where you could have achieved that. Almost every single month in this will get you through those prop firms. Be it phase one or phase two, both phases, every single month will generate you income from those prop firms too. For whoever that is, wherever they are, that's important. If you can go, hey, I've sorted out a consistent way to earn some money each month, that's a good thing for you. 
Secondly, you'll see the columns of 1 to 5%. They are for when you're trading personal funds. If you're being conservative and don't want to risk much, say you've invested a considerable amount and you're just like, right, you know what, I'm just going to take it chill and cruise, but it's better than the money sitting in the bank, then trade 1%. Just cruise, let it slowly tickle up over time. You don't want to risk too much, take it slow and stable, 1, 2%, perfectly fine. You can see the gains there are still significantly more per month than even a bank will offer you in a decade. If you don't mind taking the risks, say you're putting in, I don't know, a $100 account, $200 account, and it's money you can literally throw away and not care, wind the risk up, go 3% to 5%. See that these numbers, they're monstrous. This is your chance to go, you know, I don't actually like trading prop firms, I don't like the risk of them shutting down and me not being able to work with them anymore. So I'm just going to put it in my own personal account as a small amount of money and see how far I take it. So you go 3 to 5% per trade and you're throwing it, throwing it, throwing it, throwing it. You know that you're somewhat stable because the risk per trade isn't actually that high and the peak drawdown number isn't actually that high. But look at the gains over 100%, sometimes over 200% in a month. This means that you'll be able to go from, say, $100 at the end of that month, if you've taken 5%, you might end up on $300. At the end of the next month, you might end up at $1,000, and you will scale very, very, very rapidly. Now, with all that being said, I do have to tell you that there is a price for this freedom. The cost of the indicator itself isn't that high. However, it's something to consider. But the other cost will be if you want to automate it. Now, you can trade this manually, and there's nothing wrong with trading it manually. However, if you want to save your life and use less time and waste less energy, automate it. This has been built to be automated. You can set up with TradingView.to, Copygram, Pine Connector, any of them will work for you. You just have to make sure they're on the right platform. Once you've set up, you just start it on a month, a market open on Monday, let it run until the end of markets on Monday, turn it off, pick it up Thursday morning, let it run till the end of the week. You don't waste hours each week doing analysis, you don't have to waste time. I've just shown you everything you need. But to go a step further, I'm gonna show you the steps you need to take it to the next level of freedom. Let's start small. Starting small is important. Not everyone wants to risk the house. Let's consider we start on $100. We run it at three to 5% per trade. We run it for one month. Now you've got $200 at the end of a month. You've had an average month. As we can see from the average months, the average month would be about 61%. The average month at 5% is 116, so let's say you've turned $100 and you've now got 160, or you've taken $100 and you've now got 216. What can you do with that? Well, you can go and set up with the smallest possible prop firm accounts. The smallest possible prop firm accounts with people like Funding Pips, for a 5k account is $36, for a 10k account is $66. That $66 would put you just in range of this and still keep your initial in there. That means that you could start trading a 10k prop firm and keep your personal account and run them both together. Now obviously your prop firm is going to run at this, but your personal will run at this. That means that over the course of two months, your funding pips can grow and get past, and then say the third month is where it's going to have earned. Let's say it's taken you three months, but at the end of that three months, you've just got a payout for an average of $850. Meanwhile, this one has been growing, and you could have grown it for two months, so that when your funding pips has been passed, which puts us at $256, so that now you have $150 that, hey, I could get a 25K account, or hey, I could go and put the whole lot in and get a 250k account. It allows you to scale up more over time because once you've hit that first payout through funding pips, which take you three months, you've now got $855 extra. Plus, you've still got that 10k account. And because at the end of month two, you paid for another account with FTMO or something that was a 50k, like a 50k through funding pips is $266. You could have paid for that off that second month of income. Or FTMO, you could have had another 25,000 account. That means that you will have now been able to get to your first 10,000 in funding, plus either a 25 or 50,000 account that you've just started 
and then at the end of another month you'd have had another 850 to pocket for yourself at the end of another month now you would suddenly be at my 50k account and a 10k account both fully passed my 50k account is going to generate me an average of four thousand dollars a month on that 50k account plus the other 800 you're going to be making around five thousand dollars a month now that you've done that go and do one big challenge if you're consistently making $5,000 a month, suddenly you can start risking a bit more. You can take some of that profit you're making and going, right, I'm going to go and put, I don't know, 2000 of it into a big account, or 1000 a 1000 $1, $1,080 with FTMO gives you a 200 k account. You can now go and pass that and be looking towards making $16,800 a month. All I need to do now is actually show you how to trade the method. It's really, really easy. You open your chart, you add the shark, version 170, you take the trades that come up with the whale, your entry is the white line, your stop loss is the red line, and your take profit is the green line. It gets no harder than that. You could teach a five-year-old how to run this, and they will be able to do it. I don't see why you can't make money when trading. I'm Taylor, this is Perfect Entry, and I'll see you in the next video.